Hello guys, and today I want to start my video with gratitude to the people of the United States. It is your work, your conversations with those who doubt, with those who believe in Russian propaganda, your letters, emails and telephone calls to the congressmen, to your representatives that make this decision of Congress possible today. Ukraine will get much needed, much awaited aid. And we promise to use it to defeat our common enemy, Russia, that now threatens all the democratic world. And also I want to thank people of different countries that stand together with Ukraine and understand how important this battle is for our common future. I am very, very, very grateful. Another decision passed by Congress is also very important. It is a decision that may give an important precedent to the countries of the European Union, for example, the decision to take Russian frozen assets of Russian oligarchs, politicians who are under sanctions and use them for our joint war effort. And there were also a number of successful military operations of Russian drones in eight, just imagine that, eight Russian regions. Let me tell you more of this beautiful news from the ordinary Ukrainian perspective in the video. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. And remember, I love you very much. I was very worried about this vote in the Congress because, well, seven months of conversations, seven months of informational war of Russia against us and all of our allies, seven months of doubt led to many bad things happening on the front lines. But at the same time, I did feel something good coming. You know why? As a vlogger, I've noticed waves of Russian trolls performing different tasks and trying to demotivate us. From time to time they appear, we have them, but it was very, very visible. And sometimes as a Ukrainian, I was trying to find something optimistic and I started thinking, well, maybe we will get this support. And we did. Thank you once again for your efforts, for that many good energy and work that you have done during this period to change the opinion of the decision makers who did not want this decision to be made. But now with this $61 billion, we feel more confident and I'm sure it will be used to defeat Russia sooner and more effectively. I can only imagine how they cry and shout and use bad words now somewhere in Kremlin. Because despite all of their information attacks, despite all of their bribes and all the dark work that they were doing for all this time, they failed. Democracy is stronger and democracy is led by people. For me, the United States was always a synonym of democracy. I know many comment it's ancient Greece, but still there are countries that stand as symbols of democracy. And I'm really happy that democracy is not just a word. And I'm really happy to feel this support from many countries, but I know it's from people. And people can influence politicians. We can change them. We can help them. We can make them famous. We can... Um, cancel them if we want. That's because we live in a democratic world, something that Russians did never, did not experience, and I'm not sure if they can ever. Another important uh, bill that was passed deals with uh, frozen Russian assets. This is close to $8 billion that can be used on war effort, and it would be very logical, because this is bloody money of Russian oligarchs who are always politicians too. And they are frozen because of all that evil that they do constantly to all of our countries, our economies. In Ukraine, it's real, it's physical, but it is also present in your societies because they use different strategies to undermine our, our lifestyle. 
And I think if this decision becomes real and this money are taken out to use them against Russia, that would be a very good signal to those who doubt. There are countries who are afraid to make this step, but this is an important thing and war criminals should be punished this way too. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Demonstrate your solidarity. This is quite easy, but very effective as we see, because people have to know more about this war and our resilience, our effort and our success together. Because only united we can win this war and we can stop other authoritarian regimes from even thinking about something similar, for example, attack on Taiwan. If we win, other authoritarian regimes will be afraid, they will see how strong and united we are, and all of their evil plans will dissolve. And Ukrainians are working hard too. Today, in the result of a joint military operation, of Ukrainian SBU, Ukrainian Intelligence Service and uh, Special Forces. We have conducted special drone operations in eight regions of Russian Federation. Just imagine, eight regions. At the beginning of the full-scale invasion, Russia threatened that if anything happens on its territory, it will be an immediate destruction of the whole Ukraine. And now we see lots of their oil refineries on fire. And I have made actually a list of these regions that heard explosions and the epitome of smoking on military objects there was like super strong. Belgorod, Bryansk, Kursk, Tula, Smolensk, Ryazan, Kaluha and Moscow region eight Russian regions that experienced successful attacks of Ukrainian uh, airpl airplane-style drones. They've targeted legitimate military objects like oil refineries and some electric stations that are used to supply military plants and factories. And of course, lots of their military production facilities will be paralyzed for a long period of time. But I'm sure they are also paralyzed by the beautiful decision of the American people. And I think we can discuss that tomorrow in our live 9 p.m. Kyiv time. I will be happy to answer your questions. And I don't know, I always invite you to drink tea or coffee, but maybe tomorrow we can drink some wine. Anyway, I'm joking, but I am super grateful to all the friends on the channel, to our beautiful community that is my family now. I'm grateful to those people who speak in support of Ukraine, who do a lot of beautiful things uh, in different corners of the world. And even in the skies, I believe <laughs> we have support. Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons and helping me film more. Remember to join me on Instagram, Threads, Twitter and Discord. And we have a beautiful merch shop with lots of items that work well as conversation starters. But most importantly, we have our community and this community is big. And I promise that in future you will be proud of Ukrainian victories and our friendship will only grow stronger. Dziękuję. Slava Ukraini.